everyone, welcome back to another Hunty Time. In today's episode, I'm gonna be spilling all the tea on brushing your teeth. So if you didn't know, I'm a professional dental assistant and I've accumulated these tips throughout my years of study and experience. So these are all tips that I live by and I've based them off things that I've witnessed firsthand in the dental office. So without further ado, let's get to the tea. Okay, so tip number one is to always replace your toothbrush after recovering from a cold or an illness or anything of that nature. So this tip is kind of self-explanatory, but let me explain why it's so important. So as you know, you should be changing out your toothbrush every six weeks or sooner because over time, the bristles break down and they lose their effectiveness. The structure of a toothbrush is very dense and there's so many little places where bacteria can hide and live. So when you continue to use a brush full of bacteria, you raise your chances of a weakened immune system and getting sick again. So there's many ways that you can deep clean a toothbrush after being sick, but I personally recommend just completely replacing your toothbrush with a new one just because toothbrushes are very affordable nowadays and if you're ever in need of a toothbrush be sure to ask your dentist when you're in there for a checkup ask them if you can have two or three extra ones usually dental offices have a lot of toothbrushes on hand so never be afraid to ask also the flu virus can live on your toothbrush for up to three days so let's say you recover you're feeling fine but you're still using a toothbrush full of bacteria you're taking a big risk on getting sick again so as soon as you're feeling better you want to switch out your toothbrush for a new one just so you're not taking any risks all right tip number two i highly recommend not sharing toothpaste with anyone and having this for your personal use only if you do share toothpaste i suggest you do not let the tube touch your personal toothbrush bristles and you can also wipe down this part with rubbing alcohol every time you use it but even when you do take these precautions you still risk cross-contamination. So a few years ago, I got a cold from my mother. I couldn't figure out how I got the cold because I wasn't really in contact with her while she was sick, but I put two and two together and it was because we were sharing toothpaste. Yes, I know it sounds disgusting and that's why I use my own toothpaste for my own personal use now. So never again will I ever share toothpaste with anyone unless I clean it off. And even then, I'm still a little sketchy about it. Okay, on to my third and final tip is to brush your teeth with a soft bristled brush. This is something that will benefit you long term enormously. Just think about it, when you're brushing your teeth, you're not only brushing your teeth, but you're also brushing your gum line. I've seen and assisted countless cervical fillings or facial fillings. I'm putting up some photos right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So basically it's caused by brushing with a hard toothbrush or brushing with too much pressure. This is also called dental abrasion. It's really important to know that your enamel and your gum line are incredibly sensitive and it will be worn down over time. Of course, us as dental professionals can aesthetically fix this problem, but overall, this is a serious problem that should be avoided. So remember to use a extra soft bristled brush when you're brushing your teeth and be mindful of how much pressure you're placing on your brush with your hand. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna stop here. I could sit here and spill tea on the dental field all day long, but I truly hope that you learned something from this video. Give me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social medias at Hunty Hunter, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.